Hello guys, welcome to part 51 of Let's Play Earthbound with me, Homestar92. In the last part we got right up to Dr. Andonuts' lab, and in this part I think we're going to head into the laboratory. And... No Apple Kid, let's talk to his mouse. And he gave us the eraser, eraser machine. Which is really just a mechanism to keep you from sequence breaking and doing, um... Stonehenge early, although I think the enemies are a better way to do that. Although, trust me, there's something coming up, which I'll be doing off-screen, which is very likely to cause me to level up significantly. Oh wait, before we start this area, I just want to make sure Ness does not get homesick. I'm being a very redundant, but you don't need to call home as much as I do, but it's very... it never hurts, especially if you've got a free phone. And there are Every hotel has a free phone, as well as every, like, basically every non-store. So, keep that in mind, and head down there, and we're in Stonehenge. So yeah, it's not just, it's not just your ordinary stones, it's actually an alien war base. Yep, don't believe the stories, kids. Eraser, eraser, let's use it. Now, there is a point coming up where the KC bat would be worth equipping, however, that point is not here yet, so I will not be equipping it. Now, having a bear here, especially a super plush bear, can be a lifesaver in a lot of ways. Because these guys can diamondize you, which is essentially like being knocked out without being knocked out. And they will target the bears over you. And then... The bears can't be diamondized, because it doesn't even really exist, so... Yeah. And I have absolutely no, um, what you call it? Yeah, I'm running from this. I have absolutely no Cups of Life noodles, so... I'm basically dead, should something happen. Let's go to the right. For some reason, I prefer the right to over the down. How is that a back attack? I mean, I'll take it, but... Ah, eh, Starman. It's worth the experience. I mean, we basically get a turn and a half to kill them without them even trying, so... I won! Alright. Let's keep walking. And spicy jerky. Yep, and I am going to go up. See, you'll just luck into getting a lot of back attacks here against these Starmen, and use it to your advantage. I mean, it's great to level up when you have basically a free attack. I mean, you get about a turn and a half. I mean, what's PSI Magnet going to do, especially when he targets Jeff? I mean, that's just foolish. The AI in this game is not the best. Paula is level 44. I'm hoping that everyone survives until Ness reaches whatever level he has to be to get um, Healing Gamma. Because Healing Gamma is a lifesaver. Literally, it can revive you when you're knocked out. And that leads me right back to where we already were. Awesome. Wasted time for the win. For the loss, rather. Alright. Slide to the right. Oh, geez. I don't want to fight two Mook Seniors. Uh, now would be a good time for Rockin' Gamma. Actually, no, it wouldn't, but... I don't want to die, so... I'm kind of hoping I can kill him before Ness's turn, actually. It won't be happening. And someone will be mortally wounded, I'm sure. No. Alright. And now, my friends, it is time for you to die. Bye! Have a good life. Nessus level is 51. That's good. And Vitality is also good. And Pooh should level up. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. We're smoking now. Um. Let's take a look at status. See where everyone is. Close enough. Perfect. Eh. 
Alright. Life up. Crap. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's use some goods, actually. Clear up some room in the inventory. Text message. I'll get that later. Picnic lunch. Pooh can have that. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Totally worthless. Alright, fine. Brain food lunch. There we go. Now we're good. Oh, I wasted a lot of time doing that. I may have to cut some of that. For the sake of making progress. Actually, nah. I hate editing. I probably won't. What? Whatever. Ooh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, well, if that's all you're gonna do... I'm gonna run. Like cowards. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap. Now we're in danger. Oh crap, now we're really dead. Come on. Yes! And Pooh gets to live. It is a happy day. In the land of Pooh. Gross. And up here we get... A Guts Capsule. How incredibly worthless. Uh, I'm just going to close my eyes. Alright, Jeff got the guts. Do, 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 do you have it? Guts! That was a good show. That was a really good show. <gasps> Butterfly! Butterflies are free to fly. Fly away. Hi away. Bye bye. Wow, I really don't think anyone will get that song reference at all. I'll give you a hint. It's by a British person. A British person who was popular in the 70s and part of the 80s. And had a really, had one really popular song in the 90s. So there you go. Have fun with that. So, two MOOC seniors. This is what they... Oh. Well, okay. If you have atomic power robots... You want to take them out last, and you want to make sure you take out everyone else as quickly as possible, because they can refill people's HP. Fortunately, they all seem to be refilling his. Oh, also, when you kill them, they explode? Yeah. So, if you kill them last, it won't kill you unless you're dangerously low on HP. But, see? Now watch. He's going to explode here soon. And it's going to try to kill everyone. But he dies, so because of the rolling HP meter, you won't. So, self-destructing enemies aren't quite as bad in this game as they were in Mother 1. Paula could use some life up. Uh, Pooh could use a brain food lunch. And Ness will probably live, but I'll give him some life up anyway. Alright, which way to go? Holy crap, I am not fighting. I'm not taking that risk. And I can't escape it. That's unfortunate. Crap, we're gonna run out of time here soon. Alright, kill him quick. So that he doesn't diamondize us. Crap. That's gonna not kill anyone. Surprising. Okay, just die quickly, and no one gets hurt except you. You'll die. Obviously. We're coming dangerously close to ten minutes here. And I'm tired of healing people. Beta for Paula. Life up beta for Jeff. An alpha for poo. No, I think we're good. We're gonna run out of time here soon. I wanna get just a bit farther though. Stairs, that's always a good sign. Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. Um 
Anyway, I am Homestar92. I will see you guys in the next part in which we will hopefully finish this dungeon. And yeah, on that note, I will see you guys next time. Later.